Good morning, Team Carlsbad, and happy Monday. So we've got a lot of news to share with you, so let's go ahead and get to it. In the past week, we had two new COVID-19 cases among employees and one workplace exposure. Thank you for continuing to follow all health safety precautions. Speaking of precautions, we're gonna continue our virtual meeting policy through the month of September, which includes staff meetings, city council meetings, and board and commission meetings. We will reassess this time next month, and I'll let you know what the plan is for October. Switching gears, the big news this week is that we have a new city council member starting tomorrow. Last week, city council ended up interviewing 12 applicants for the district one vacancy and unanimously voted to appoint Peter Norby to fill the remainder of the term, which ends with the November 2022 election. Council member Norby is a longtime Carlsbad resident and a small business owner with a strong interest in sustainability and placemaking. He'll be sworn in at tomorrow's city council meeting and he's gonna hit the ground running. In other news, our IT department has been super busy connecting city facilities to what we're calling the Carlsbad Digital Information Network. This high-speed fiber network will make all of our digital systems move at a lightning fast speed. Two weeks ago, City Hall and Cole Library moved over to the new system. And last weekend, they started working on the fire and police headquarters building, which we used to call the safety center. Right now, we're looking at this project being completed at the end of September. It's been a lot of extra work, and I'd really like to recognize our stellar, amazing, awesome IT team for making this happen. It's something that will have a huge benefit for years to come. Last Friday, the city of Carlsbad opened its newest park at the site of the former Buena Vista Reservoir. The city worked with its neighbors to design the park, and Lennar Homes actually built it. This was part of a very unique agreement that would take way too long to explain here, but the short version is that city staff got very creative and we ended up settling a lawsuit and getting Poinsettia Lane's missing link built and adding a neighborhood park in old Carlsbad. Great job to everyone involved in this project from start to finish. Finally, tomorrow afternoon, we will be showing our annual State of the City video at the City Council meeting. Yes. This is another in-person event that we've unfortunately had to forego due to COVID-19. I can't wait to share the video with you. It's amazing to see just how much great work has gotten done in the past year. It would be impressive even under normal circumstances, let alone in the midst of a pandemic. So please give yourselves all a huge pat on the back. It's so important that we continue to stop and celebrate our successes. You can find the video on the city's homepage starting tomorrow night. That's it. I hope you have a great rest of the week and I can't wait to see you again real soon. Take care and stay safe.